Well, I hope you're doing all right, because I'm doing pretty good today, and I'm up here trying to catch some fish. I, uh, like I've said a few times, this winter has been a rough one for me, just trying to figure out, you know, how to get these fish in. You know, usually I have, I'm fishing in like two, three, four hour windows, and just trying to figure them out really quick. And um, this is the place, last time I was here, did really good for about an hour, then it just shut off. So I got another like three hour window to fish. Come up here, let's see if we can figure them out pretty quick. The water is really clear and it's muddy coming from up the river, which is really low. So beautiful place out here. Hopefully we can get on some fish. Just gonna start with a little Bobby Garland on my little light rods, what I did good with last time. See if we can find some fish. Oh, yes, yes, first cast. That's the kind of fishing I like to do. Boom, first cast, we got a yellow perch. Wow, it's pretty colorful in the sun there. One fish down. Oh. Where did this fish go? Come on. Yeah, it looks like they only got one generator running. So maybe it means there may be more fish up here since the current isn't as strong. Oh, yep, that's a good fish. There is more fish up here since the current isn't as strong. And is it a trout? I side hooked a trout. Let me get this thing hooked. Usually the water's up over this thing and it's really hard to get down here. So luckily the water's not too bad. So I hooked a rainbow trout in the side. Look how fat that thing is though. These things are just really fat and slimy. Hold on. There it is. Is that hard? Okay, he looked all right. That thing was a fat little rainbow trout. We might catch a few today. Hopefully not in the side. Just cast right up in here. Just let this thing kind of drift through here. Oh, 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 there was a fish hitting it. I think it was a little trout. I may have to throw something moving a little better to get him to hit it. Yeah, I got him. I got it. <laughs> that was cool. I had to reel it steadily to get him to hit it. Is that a, dude, check this fish out. It's a brook trout. Now I wish I had my camera over here, but I gotta go all the way over. I ain't going over there to get it. Look at that. I'm pretty, well, wait, is that a brook trout? I'm pretty sure it is. No, it might be a rainbow. It's got a little specks in there. I'm not 100% I'm not on my trout. The more I see fish, the harder it is to tell them sometimes. That's cool right there. Pretty fish though. Back on this side. This guy over here fly fishing. I've already seen him caught, catch a bunch of fish. Just looking over there, I see him catch several. So I'm back over here, try some different lures out. Maybe get a couple more fish. Try a spinner. There we go. That's what it took. 
like a little trout. Let's see if I can get down to it. Pretty fish right there. Just gonna get a little video of it so I can release it. Got a little that's a fish hawk spinner using. Got him with it. Alright, a little guy back in there. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> he hit right off the bank. Well, the spinner also catches bass. Little largemouth. Man, why are these fish so fired up in here? With this colder water, you think they'd be a little calmer. This, everything is like, I just, I guess they're in the feeding area and fighting that current all the time, really strong. I didn't see any little ones in that group. About eight or ten big old ones. Well, isn't this how it goes? I'm done fishing. On the way back, I come right through some fish busting. Cast into it, and I get slammed. I thought I, thought I saw some fish busting earlier. Fat spotted bass. First fish of the day, so they're out chasing bait. Without a graph, it's kind of hard to find these fish unless you just see them busting. And they were just hitting right through here, so I'll make a few more casts. I've been out here for three hours and hadn't caught a fish till now. Well, today I'm gonna to end this video out unboxing some stuff I bought myself just before Christmas. And I actually got, uh, ordered several of these things um, just 
before Christmas because I'm going on a trip to Florida. So if you're watching this video, I'm probably either driving into Florida or I'm in Florida fishing. Uh, I, I planned just a few days to go down there. Um, I had to wait till my basketball season had their break, so uh, for their for the for the school. So we're we're on school break. Um, well, at least we will be in a couple of days here. So um, I got we haven't I haven't been putting out near as many videos as I, I like to do. I like to do at least three a week, and it's been slow because I've been going out fishing. The days get shorter, faster. The fishing's tough, um, and I haven't been being able to catch much fish. So um, I got this trip to Florida plan. I I always try to do this every year, um, almost now every for like three years in a row, and uh, hopefully there'll be a bunch of good content coming. At least a bunch of fish caught. If you just like watching fish get caught, but it's fun to explore and it's so much easier to catch fish. It's a about a 10, 10, 11 hour drive to where I will want to get to and hopefully can have a bunch of videos coming out after Christmas time and kind of throughout January if things go well. But I'm gonna, if you're interested in what I ordered, I ordered some stuff. Um, uh, this is a big box of stuff here. And this right here, the first box I'm gonna open up is from uh, Tackle Warehouse. And I got on there and that's usually where I order my hooks and stuff so I can have the right hooks that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna go through this um, for a while, kind of show you what I got. I might not show you everything in here. And um, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to end up going through uh, tackle because I need to go through it and get it organized before my trip. That way I have everything ready to go. I know where all my stuff's at. And this is some hooks that I get now that I really like. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It. And I got a couple new things to play with uh, and try out. So this right here, this right here is from Tackle Warehouse. And I don't have any kind of discounts or affiliates there. I know some other guys do. Well, this is just stuff that um that I really like and um and some new things I want to try. So, first off, some new things I ordered to try are these Mega Bass swim baits. Um, I did a vi or not Mega Bass. What are they? Mag Draft. Oh, it's made by Mega Bass. Yeah. So it's a Mega Bass uh, Mag Draft. This one is a six inch and it weighs one and a quarter ounce. And it is the, it looks like a perch. I think it's a perch one. I remember ordering a perch color. Mm, perch, six inch perch. Don't tell that, now that right there looks really good. Uh, I don't use a lot of these bigger swim baits and this isn't even big compared to the one. So I here recently I had a video going with my buddy Tyler and he was using an eight inch that was like three ounce. Uh, this is a tiny compared to it, but he caught a five pound large mouth, a three pound large mouth, a eight pound large mouth. So it gets big fish. Um, these are only $14, I believe. These are $15. So that's pretty cheap for a pretty nice swim bait. And that perch right there looks so good. I really hope to catch some fish on it. I might not use it in Florida. I don't want to waste them, but this is more of like getting those bass to come out of certain areas. I got the, this is the Blue Shad 5 inch, and this one is, this one's only 7 eighths of an ounce. I think you can see that good with it. That's a, that's pretty nice, 7 eighths ounce on that one, and that color looks really cool, and that's a 5 inch one. So that I could throw this on my, like, bass rod, um, just like my regular bass, or medium heavy bass rod, probably. I will probably have to get into some bigger, um, like some bait caster stuff, but Right now, these are lures I could throw on a just a bass rod. Um, this one right here is the six inch rainbow. So I got a five inch and a couple six inches. So these are these are all fifteen dollars a piece. Oh, the five inch was thirteen dollars. So I might have to order a few more five inches, but that's something I've been wanting to play around with, and those are going to be kind of fun. And um, you know, especially come this spring, and just when I get more comfortable with them. Maybe even try it in some creeks. The rest of this box is just full of hooks that I ordered that I use a lot of. This is just a bunch of hooks. I'm not gonna show you every one of them, but let me show you a couple hooks because I get asked about it. This right here is a hook that I've started using and I really, really like, and it's something I use a lot. It's only a 1 16th ounce. It's a Ned Rig uh, block hook uh, with the offset hook. It's a one aught size hook. It's a 1 16th ounce jig head on it. Um, and this is something I use. I do use on Helgramites. I started using them. I like to use the Z-Man one some, but I use this on Helgramites, but I also use this on Young Dingers, on swim baits, little like three inch swim baits. It works really good. Uh, four or five inch Young Dingers. Um, anything I want to do weedless, and I just want a light jig head, and that 116th ounce, I like that size. It gives 
things a slow drop because I fish a lot of shallow water. But uh, also I got some, well those are 1 16th ounce also, those are 1 16th ounce. I bought a bunch of 1 16th ounce because I really like them. And I got, the, I got some 3 16th ounce ones. That's a little heavier than a lot of stuff I do, but I wanted something good. And I got some 1 8th ounce. I already had some of these, but the 1 16th ounce is what I use the most, especially like in creeks. With like I said, with like a 3 inch swim bait. Um, if, if you are three, you know, that size, something that lure like that size, you can throw it out there and keep it weedless and work it. And what I've, um, really like is the hook is really strong. It does a really good job pinning them. I've used it enough to, and used it on, and caught some really big fish for that size, for that small hook that it, it really pins them well. And it's a strong hook that doesn't bend out. Uh, just got a few other jig heads, just some other stuff to have ready. Um, you know, it's, it's, I've, I've learned, I used to just kind of buy whatever, all these different random brands. I mean, this one or that one, but the own, the owner stuff, I really have a lot of confidence in. It's good stuff. And I found that hook, that, um, that, that blockhead one, that's something that I, I really trust. And so, so I'm, I'm starting to get more and more of those and try to like stay with those. But I don't know, I'm, you might, I, it's, it's all about coming across the right hook for the right situation and have it work for you. This box right here, this big box, is from Pradco. Ordered it. Um, to help, I was hoping it came in right before I went to Florida, and there were several things in there I wanted. Now, this is stuff I didn't pay for because I have a deal with them. So it allows me um, to be able to purchase a certain amount of product. Of course, I put it in videos and use it, so that's why I'm getting it uh, for free. And uh, it allows me to mess around with a lot of stuff. So it gives me the opportunity that a lot of people don't have to, um, to buy lures that I've never seen before or never used before and just to test them out. And I've done that with several lures. Let me show you one. Let me find one real quick that I've done with that I now use all the time. These Young Pull Swim Baits. This is something I've never used before. Started buying them and I love these things now. These are very, very good. This is a three and a half inch. This is a sinful shed. Um, I like putting it on that 1 16th ounce owner jig head and that's a confidence lure that I can just feel like I can take it and on a medium rod setup, I can throw it in a creek, in a lake. I can, I've caught, I caught that four and a half, uh, what did I catch? I caught like a four and a half pound bass on one. I've caught little fish on it. I've caught little striper on it. Just, I caught pickerel on it. I've caught a lot of different fish off that. So that's something that I just, I'm like, all right, now that I've tried them and proved them, I'm gonna order some more. All right, well, I'm not gonna show you everything I got. So it's kind of fun just to go through this. And I know, it, I don't wanna make people jealous that I get to get a lot of these, but I know you understand it's, it's the business side and um, I'm getting paid to show these as an influencer. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I picked out, some new stuff that I haven't tried yet and some things that I've tried tried that I really like. All right, this looks really, really cool. This is called the Itty Bit Slab Hunter. They're 1.25 inches. Look at, let's see if that shows up there. Look at the size of that thing right there. That's a tiny little bait. And it's got a cool little action, but it's also, it's got a little, little tail to it, but it's also kind of a thicker body. That is going to be killer. I don't know how I haven't used that before. I don't know if they're new or not, but I, I talked to um, the guy when I went out to Pradco in Arkansas and he's like, you, you haven't tried these. I was like, he's like, have you tried these yet? I was like, no. I was like, you have to try these. So this one right here is in Blood Minnow. <laughs> these things look really cool. Um, obviously, here's the, um, this is the Itty Bit Swimmers and uh, they are 1.25 inch, but they're a lot smaller with a little tail. These right here are the same length, but these are a lot fatter. So I, I think these are gonna be really fun to use. So Itty Bit Swimmers, I got a couple different packs of that, along with some um, more of Slab Hunters. That's Cajun Cricket right there. But these are some small little lures. They're tiny little, you know, lures. And I got these little jig heads. I like these little jig heads. They're small and fit these lures perfectly. I'll, I'll throw this on like two pound or four pound line and you can absolutely catch a ton of fish on them. And it catches some bigger, I mean, it catches like, for that size, it catches some good sized fish. But most of the time I'm, I'm using that for bluegill or crappie or, or just multi-species in a little creek, like just pulling out all kinds of different stuff. Let me show you this uh, spinner bait right here. Now these are a little higher end. These are like $9 for these spinner baits. This is the, the Booyah Covert series. 
This is only a 3 8 ounce, but I, I like these one bladed ones. Single blade, uh, I think that's the Colorado blade, because it's the bigger one. And um, it's got a, like a bright colored head on it. And this one right here, blue and chartreuse. I like this spinnerbait setup. It doesn't have near as much drag like when you're throwing it on a spinning rod, which is what I usually do. It still casts fine. This is a lighter one, but it doesn't have near as much drag when you're pulling against it with like two big old heavy blades, like with drag. And I've caught a lot of fish on them. That that's these they're a little higher, uh, a little more expensive for like a spinnerbait. Like some most time, you know, you're you're paying five, six, seven dollars. I think these are like nine or ten. But I do like those single blade. I just, I don't know what it is. It seems to be simpler and it seems to do well. And every time I order stuff, I gotta get more um, just Bobby Garlands. These are just the regular Bobby Garlands, a thread fin shad, just a shad grayish color. These are, this is the sweet lemon, sweet tea with lemon. This is the baby shad swimmer. They got a little bit more of a tail on them. Um, about the same size, they're 2.25s, and this is the Slab Dock Docker Blue Thunder, 2.5 inch, so these are all just kind of like a small profile, crappie slash multi-species lure, which also catch a lot of bass and a lot of different stuff. I once again, I ordered a few more of these. I actually think I bought several of these, because this is my favorite. These flat A's in the baby bass, got an orange belly on them. They're black and white with uh, red eyes. They're shallow diving. They dive uh, three to five feet. I I just have, I don't know. I, I love it how simple these are. The, it's a, called the Flat A. Very simple and have worked very well for me, especially like I feel like this design. Now, I, crankbaits, you're going to lose them. They, you know, they're going to have them for a while. You know, they, you spend six, seven dollars on them. And then you lose one, and you're, and you're thinking, ah, six or seven dollars out. But you'll pack, you'll buy a pack of uh, soft plastics for the same amount, and wear them all out, you know. So um, I, I I don't like to buy a lot of crankbaits, but I've been starting to buy more. Uh, another lipless. Um, I got some. And this are here. I'm, I bought a few things for Florida. So these are here are some lures I just really basically bought for Florida and that's jerk baits. Um, I'll plan on using them a lot and I'm gonna lose some down there. So this is the uh, Smithwick Super Rogue Junior and the uh, Pro Rogue. Uh, they're, they're shallow, they're not real deep diving. And um, these have two hooks, that one has three hooks on it. And let's see, these are suspending. I think that one is, yes, yeah, so these are all suspending. So this is something that I will use a lot. Um, the fishing in Florida, especially the really South Florida, a lot of fish, they, they want to hit something moving or jerking really erratically, especially the peacock bass. That's what I've learned a lot. And uh, I also bought some Rapala lures recently. So, so I got a bunch of different um, jerk baits that I'm going to be taking with me and planning to use and hopefully catch a lot of fish on those. Well, man, they just got a bunch more crawls and I ordered a bunch of the young pool swim baits. But these last two things here, this is something I'm starting to get a lot of confidence in because I've caught some really good bass on them. And the, mainly it's this black one right here. This is a black five inch yum swimming dinger. Uh, caught some really, really good bass on it. And I, I will use it most of the time on this jig head right here. This one eighth uh, ounce, it's a one out hook. And I'll hook it up weedless because it's a, it's a weedless hook there. And just sink it down on rock ledges or sink it down on a wall and just kind of work it and let something grab it. And I've caught some really good spotted bass and my almost PB largemouth. I caught a six pound, two ounce, it was an ounce shy uh, on this five inch one right here. So I ordered, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna order some more of these. I'm like, it's about time to get some of these. Uh, I ordered some black and blue ones and the black was the one that I caught most of my fish on. So I've got a few different colors, uh, some four inch ones and some five inch ones. Um, fish will bite the tails off. Uh, some of the littler fish, they'll bite the little paddle tail off of it. And it's basically just a yum dinger then. But uh, this little, that little, this thing, this thing with a little extra action, just, it really does well. You can also just kind of swim it. And it's got a nice little action, like a swim bait to it. So uh, the yum swimming dinger is another lure that I've gotten a lot of confidence in. And I'm sure I'll be throwing it a lot. So, well, stay tuned. Hopefully there's a lot of fun videos coming out soon. Um, kind of dragging here through the winter time. And I've been putting in effort to get out there and make videos and just 
lot of it just hasn't gone well or you know like uh like this video here i only caught a couple fish here a couple fish there hopefully florida will be really fun and you'll be seeing some videos come out from that and i might meet up with a couple people but i, I already have a couple of you know main ideas what i'm going to be doing and just kind of changing up a few different videos on it some you know fishing for this type of fish i might do some in my kayak some in some rivers and then as soon as spring gets here i got i've really got some plans that i want to want to get set and want to do and i plan to kind of really just go out and just boom start hammering fish again well if you are interested in ordering some uh big box of stuff yourself you can get a 15 percent off discount if you order uh, if you use my discount code which is in the video description may help you out some a lot of the stuff you can get at uh, most tackle shops and warehouses and bass pro places like that um, but if you want to order in bulk maybe maybe good worth uh, going through and ordering and getting a lot of these little lures like these little slab hunters and stuff like that and i'm gonna have to i wasn't planning on doing much ultralight fishing but i'm gonna have to use these in florida and see what all i can catch there's so many different species down there in some of those waters but everything's so most everything's so weedy like if you hook something decent size it'll just get you wrapped around a, a tree really quick so it'll be fun to try them out Thanks for watching.